Welcome to Air Engine Research. Today I'm going to make a short video to let you know there hasn't been much going on over the winter. It's been too cold to work in my garage and I've had plenty of time to think about my air motor projects. Also I wanted to let you know I'm planning on doing. When I started some years ago designing an air motor I wanted it to make it as efficient as possible so that it used as little air as possible. I wanted it to be built and work as simple as could be. I wanted it to be maintenance free as possible. I wanted it to be powerful enough to put in my small pickup or small car. And I wanted it to be able to make any part that I would need myself. As I look back over the years, the designs that I have built, some of the original goals I did meet. Maintenance appears to be minimal with sealed bearings and no oil or electrical components. I have tried to make it as simple as possible, but as you can see, it has quite a few total parts and many moving parts. When I looked at my completed engine, I can see a couple of major things that I want to change. First, the push rod and the connecting arms are areas where breakdowns and wear can be a problem. Second, the connecting rods from the cylinders uh, they push at a 90 degree angle to the eccentric plate that rotates the uh, drive shaft. You can't see that on this picture, but there is a problem because pushing on the eccentric plate causes it to rotate. But it also wastes energy or torque by forcing the connecting rods in the opposite direction or it pushes down and sideways at the same time. I have some designs and models I'm working on that will get rid of the, the valve push rods and change the eccentric plate design to a rotating center. Changing the uh, design will be much smaller and put about 100% of the uh, torque onto the drive shaft. Uh, if you make bigger pistons and a bigger rotating center, it could be used for a larger truck or small vehicle. And if you use a smaller version of it, then it could be used say, for like on a bicycle or a small uh, RV vehicle of some type. Now I have started a, a rough wooden model using just wood to, to design this cylinder and give you an idea of what, what it would be looking like when it's, it's being built. The new design will be much smaller and much more compact. And using three cylinders, uh, it can be used for any size vehicle. You just have to make the center uh, rotator larger and use larger cylinders otherwise you could use it for a car small pickup or if it's a very small version you could use it on a bicycle uh, i'm working on a wooden prototype right now and trying to get the measurements and placement of things in the right order and i'll show you a little short video of that just to show you what it looks like nothing fancy but Something that should well, this will be the uh, basic design of my new engine. Uh, right now it's just got the one cylinder on it and the rotor, rotator and it shows a sample of what the valve might look like and as it rotates it goes around and so on. But as you can see then at least it's pushing 100% on the rotation instead of 
straight down where it loses part of the power. But give you the idea of how it's supposed to work. Well, that's what it is, and like I said, I just wanted to show you that little short video and let you know that I am still thinking about things. I'll put out more on my progress and how it's going as time permits and until then I'd like to thank you for checking back in again on Air Engine Research and for those new subscribers welcome to the channel. I hope that you'll find a lot of interesting things to look at. If you look back at my uh, home channel, Air Engine Research. Just type that in on your YouTube search bar and that should take you to my channel. I have, I think it's like 48 to 50 vi uh, videos that I've made over the past 13, 14 years and they'll show you a lot of things that worked and a lot of things that didn't work so well. But anyway, until next time, Thank you for checking in, and goodbye.